Hi there. In this video, we are going to learn about food safety critical control points and we'll focus on how to prevent any compromise in food safety. As we've already learned about the procedures for supplier selection, food transportation and receiving, let's move on to food preparation. When preparing food, food handlers should minimize preparation time, separate raw or unprocessed food from ready-to-eat foods, use separate color-coded utensils for cutting and preparing different food items such as vegetables and meat, avoid using bare hands for handling ready-to-eat foods. If bare hands must be used, then they must be washed Use only clean and disinfected cooking utensils when handling food. Cooking is the most critical point in preventing food poisoning. Inadequate cooking, especially of raw animal products, allows harmful bacteria or pathogens to survive. Food such as meat, fish, poultry, and eggs should be cooked thoroughly to kill food poisoning bacteria. These foods should be cooked to an internal temperature of 75 degrees Celsius and measured at its thickest part using a calibrated thermometer that is clean and disinfected. The thermometer should remain at 75 degrees Celsius or above for 30 seconds. Once high-risk food is cooked, its temperature should be maintained at 60 degrees Celsius or above at all times using hot holding equipment. During the cooking process, some bacteria can form a protective covering called a spore that germinates and multiplies when conditions are favorable. Hot holding is essential in preventing the multiplication of these spore-forming bacteria especially when a large volume of food is prepared in advance, such as buffet service. Food intended to be served or displayed cold should be maintained at 5 degrees Celsius or colder to prevent bacteria growth. The time and temperature of cold food should be noted before it is served and every two hours thereafter. If you are not going to be serving hot food right away, then it needs to be cooled down. This is done by using a blast chiller, an ice bath, or a spoon to stir stews or curries. If a blast chiller is not used, the food temperature should be reduced to 20 degrees Celsius within two hours, and then placed in a chiller for further cooling to 5 degrees Celsius within 4 hours. If large amounts of food are prepared in advance, then it should be cooled in shallow batches for storage. If food is reheated, it must be reheated to an internal temperature exceeding 75 degrees Celsius and consumed within 2 hours. Do not reheat food more than once. When serving food, these rules should be followed. Food handlers should always wear a clean uniform and maintain personal hygiene. They should also make sure not to touch food with their bare hands. Food should always be served with clean utensils and should be properly covered. Food temperatures should always be maintained outside of the danger zone. Food should be served as soon as possible and not left outside for a long time. If you are serving food in a buffet, each dish should be covered and have at least one clean and sanitized utensil for every food item, especially when raw food is provided. Food temperatures should be kept outside of the danger zone and displayed in hot or cold zones as needed. Food in these zones 
should have their temperature checked every two hours with a clean and sanitized thermometer. Moreover, this food should be constantly stirred to maintain a consistent temperature throughout. If you are displaying food at room temperature, make sure to discard it within two hours. Best practices recommend preparing and serving food in small batches that can be used within a two-hour time frame. If food is not consumed within two hours, you need to ensure it is discarded. Never add fresh food to old batches of food, and never reuse food that has been placed on a buffet table, even if it has only been there for a short time.